Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. So welcome yes, guys once again to yes. another class. And well, we had on vacations, right? Because we didn't have class on Thursday and we didn't have class on Friday. So today we're gonna try to cover the material that we supposed to have on, on Thursday. So uh, I wanted to ask you guys if you completed section number three from the platform. Did you all complete it? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So just let me check. So as usual, guys, you remember that I always ask you questions about the previous class. Since we didn't have class on Thursday, I guess uh, you studied a little bit. So what do you remember about last class? Because recuerdan de la última clase. What do you guys remember about it? Teacher, yo recuerdo que se me fue el inter y usted preguntó quién se había que salido del grupo. Ah, Lo siento. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> so it was you then. Okay, so just let me, someone else remember something about the previous class? What do you remember? Preposition time. Preposition of time, okay. So which one are they? Can at. You, okay, in, at. Um, huh? So how do I use at? How do I use it? Como lo utilizo? How do I use at? On time. On time, but am I talking about something specifically? At noon. At noon, okay. All right, someone else? Alguien más? Because I mean, Julio, he was not the only one on Wednesday. And no fue el único en la clase, we were more. So I guess all of you remember that. Don't you remember the prepositions? No se recuerdan de las preposiciones? Prepositions, no? Yes. Okay, which other prepositions we saw? ¿Cuáles otras vimos? At, in, on. Okay, those are the prepositions of time, but what else? We saw more. Vimos otras. So which others do you remember? Yes, preposition of place. Place, okay. And which are they? Behind. Behind, okay. Behind. In front of. In front of. What else? Between. Between, okay. Next to. Next to. Oh, beside. Beside, okay. Above. Above. Over. Over. Okay, let me see. Felix. Oh, you were not in that class, were you? No estuviste en esa clase, right, Felix? No, okay. So let me see, I guess, Jorge Luis, were you in the class? Jorge Luis Castaneda? Hello? Well, I guess he's not there probably. Wilfredo, were you in the class? Wilfredo Agonel? Can you hear me, guys? Is there any problem? Hello, teacher. Perdón, ahí estaba. Se me había movido el teléfono. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh -huh. what can you tell me? What can you tell me, uh, Wilbur? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Wilfredo, about the difference between above and under. La diferencia entre above and under. Do you remember that? Uh, 
Mm -hmm. What is the difference? La diferencia. La diferencia de, 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 de one under, dice. Above and under. Ah, no es que está debajo. Ajá. Está debajo, debajo de uno. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuál es la otra, me dijo? Above and under. Above and under. Above, Sobre. Alguien más que le ayude, someone else that can help him or has any other idea about the difference? Above es como que lo tengo arriba. Ok. Y over lo tengo encima. Encima. Sobre. Sobre. Ok. So, what is the difference between over and below? Do you remember the difference between over and below? Anyone, alguien? The difference between under and below, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's the other one. It's um, over and below. Uh, under and debajo de? Uh-huh. Um, um, <laughs> the No, it's the other one over. Um, and about a sobre. Okay. I guess we, we got confused a little bit on that. No sé si es que ya se les olvidó después de las vacaciones del 15 de septiembre. I don't know what, what happens. But today, guys, we're going to see a different topic. Today, we're going to see something that is going to be completely different. And today, we are going to talk about adjectives. Have you ever heard about adjectives? ¿Alguien escuchado de adjetivos antes? Do you have any idea? I have a question for you all. Eh, ¿Todos escuchan cortado el audio or is only for Juan? Sí, por ratito se corta o se detiene. Sí, por ratito se escucha cortado, no se, casi no se entiende. Really? Se oye cortado por ratos, no sé si será la señal o el agua. Uh, well, so, well, here is not raining, actually. Acá donde estoy yo no está lloviendo, so I don't know. Probably, probably some other places of El Salvador, probably it's raining. Or it might be the internet connection or something like that. But if something happens, si algo sucede, or you're not listening correctly to me, please let me know, okay? So thank you very much. And... Elena and Juan, that you told me that you were not listening to it correctly. So, as I was saying, guys, today we're going to talk about adjectives. ¿Alguien tiene una idea what adjectives are? Adjetivos, do you know? Does anyone know what adjetivos are? Los adjetivos es como algo de bueno. Ajá. Okay. Eh, como algo, algún, algo como feliz, happy. Okay. Una cualidad. Quality, okay, that's good. Someone else. A, a description de algo. A description, okay, good. Thank you, Beatriz. What else? ¿Quién más que tenga una idea? Any idea about adjectives? No? Okay. So we're going to move on, guys, to today's topic. And as it says here, adjectives. First of all, we are going to try to verify a brief definition of an adjective. And here we have, what's an adjective? What's an adjective? Let's see. Um, 
Juan, are you there, Juan Peñate? Yes. Okay, Juan, can you please help me to read this part, this part here, until here, from here till here, please. Adjectives are words that give more information about unknown um, pronouns and can go in different position in a sentence. Thank you very much, Juan. Now, let me read it for you. Adjectives are words that give more information about a noun or pronoun and can go in different positions in a sentence. What does it mean? Adjetivos are going to always be aquellos que van a describir, describe. Are going, words are going to be words that are, are obviously going to give you more information. Que van a describir a un noun, a un sustantivo o un pronombre. Nos van a dar más, más información y van a describir. Describe, okay? So as it says here, most adjectives can be used in front of a noun. Siempre van a estar en frente de un sustantivo. For example, they have a beautiful house. ¿Cuál piensan ustedes o qué piensan que estamos describiendo? What are we describing on this sentence? ¿Qué estamos describiendo ahí? La casa. La casa. House. Excellent. So we're saying the beautiful house. We're talking or we are describing the house. So pay attention to the position. Hay que prestar atención a la posición. So as it says here, adjective or the majority of the adjectives are going to be in front of a noun. ¿Cuál sería el noun in this case? House. So we are describing and saying that the house is beautiful. So obviously that adjective is giving me more information. Because I could simply say, yo podría decir, they have a house. Okay, that's excellent. They have a house. That's fine. And it is understandable. But when we add an adjective, cuando le ponemos un adjetivo, describimos o nos dan más información de algo. So, si yo agrego beautiful, automáticamente yo estoy agregando más información, more information about the house. Now, Example number two, it says, we saw a very exciting film last night. ¿Cuál es el noun que estamos describiendo acá? Las noches. Las noches. Elena said, who said film? Julio. Julio, yes. Actually, we are describing film. Estamos describiendo Las, las películas, los filmes, that's what, what that, that will be the, the translation. So we say, we saw, vimos, we saw a very exciting film. Vimos una película emocionante anoche, last night. So I can say, yo puedo quitar el adjetivo y yo puedo decir, we saw a, a, a film Last night, este very solo está dándole más eh, enfatizando, emphasizing a little bit more. But the main point here, guys, el punto principal acá is that you understand how to use adjectives. So we're going to move on. This is just a brief explanation. Solo es, this is just uh, una pequeña información, like a brief you know, uh, explanation about what are adjectives. So here we have things to remember. Cosas que recordar. After a link verb, los verbos de unión, les llamamos a estos, o linking verb, verbos de conexión, que son como el verbo to be, el verbo look, o el verbo feel. Siempre el adjective va a estar al final. Ok, so pay attention to this. Hay que prestar atención a esto. If it is cualquiera de estos tres verbos, 
like, look, I'm sorry, be, or feel any one of those, the other, the, or the adjective in this case is going to be after the verb. And let's see an example. We have their house is beautiful. Here we have, aquí tenemos el verb be. And as you can see, the adjective is right after, después del verbo. So, what is the noun that we are describing? ¿Cuál es el sustantivo que estamos describiendo acá? House. Once again, is house. And here we have the other verb, the verb look. That film looks interesting. Si se fijan, siempre va a ir después de estos tres verbos. What are we describing here? Film. Now, a question for you guys. ¿Cómo le llamamos a esta palabrita de acá in English? This one right here. Uh -huh. Can someone tell me? ¿Cómo le llamamos? Pronombre demostrativo. Demonstrative pronoun. Correct. Pronoun. That's, what, that's what we call it. So thank you very much. Now, is there any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Or we're, we're kind of understanding what we're saying? Well, I'm going to take that, that as a yes, I understood. Now, here we have, guys, some, let's say, some formulas or some patterns, algunos patrones that we have to follow. For example, if we're talking about adjectives with the verb be. Acabamos de aprender que cuando tenemos un adjetivo, el, va a ir después del verbo be, right? So when we have an affirmative sentence, and we have the example here, the verb be to be plus the adjective. John is old. ¿Alguna idea de qué significa old? Viejo. 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 Correct. Now we have another formula that is the verb be plus the word not plus adjective que sería the negative, la negativa. So we say John is not young. Any idea about what young means? Joven. Joven, joven. joven, exactly. So we say John no está joven, o Juan no está joven. Now, can we make questions? Podemos hacer preguntas de eso. Yes, we can. How, como? Tenemos una oración afirmativa simple. He is happy. What is happy? Feliz. Feliz. Now, what do we do when we want to create a question? Cuando queremos hacer una pregunta, what do we do? Very easy. We move the verb be at the beginning. Movemos el verb be at the beginning, then the pronoun, and then the adjective. And of course, the question mark at the end. And we say, he is happy. Then, is he happy? Y respondemos, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Depending on what you want to say. Now, uh, let me see, Felix. Can you help me, Felix, read all this part here, toda esta parte de acá, all of them. This part right here. Uh, repeat, please. Can you read, leer this part right here? All of them, todos. I am, I am tired. Okay. You are nervous. Okay. He is tall. Okay. She is happy. Okay. It is round. Thank you, Julio. Let's go with the next ones. We are cold. You are hot. They are angry. Thank you very much. Juan Peñata, let's go with the first part again. I am tired. You are nervous. Mm -hmm. He is talk. Mm -hmm. She is happy. 
It is round. Thank you very much. Now, Patricia Campos, let's go with you. Second part. Uh, we are cold. Mm -hmm. You are hot. Okay. They are angry. Okay. Francisco Martinez, part number one. I am tired. Mm -hmm. You are nervous. Okay. He is tall. Okay. She is happy. It is okay. wrong. Thank you very much. Didana, let's go with part number two. We are cool. Mm -hmm. You are hot. They are angry. Okay, Jessica Hernandez, let's go with part number one for you. I am tired. Mm -hmm. You are nervous. Mm -hmm. He is tall. She is happy. It is round. Thank you very much. And let's see, Wilfredo Agonel, let's go with part number two. We are cool. You are hot. They are angry. Beatriz, let's go with part number one for you. Beatrice? Well, she's... Uh, I am... Okay, go ahead, Beatrice. I am tired. You are nervous. He is tall. She is happy. It is brown. Rebecca de Benavides, part number two. We are cold. You are hot. They are angry. Oswaldo Stanley, part tired. one. I am tired. You are nervous. He is tough. She is nervous. happy. It is wrong. Nervous. Okay. We heard we heard the translator over there. Jorge Luis, let's go with part number two. Round. Oh, it's just Round. I can listen oh. to the translator. Someone is using that translator over there. Hey, más creo que habló? No, it's it's the translator. Alguien está utilizando el traductor. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hey. let's go. We are cold. Mm -hmm. You are hot. Mm -hmm. They are angry. Thank you very much. And Christian. Christian. He's not there once again. Well, anyway. All right, so let me let me tell you the right pronunciation. Some of you really pronounce it really well, actually. Now I'm just going to repeat them all. I am tired, tired. You are nervous, nervous. No decimos nervous, esa uno se pronuncia. Nervous. He's tall. She's happy. It is round, round. We are cold, you are hot, they are angry. Este no es hungry, ¿verdad? Porque si usted dice hungry, ya es otra cosa. It's, this is angry. Wait. Let me see. Do you guys know what tired means? ¿Alguien sabe que es tired? Casado, casada. Cansado. Cansado, cansada. Nervous, of course, nervioso. Everyone knows. Nervioso. Yeah. Tall. Alto. Alto o alta. Happy. That's that's easy. Todos se la saben. Feliz. Round. What does it mean? Redondo. Redondo. Correct. Cold. Frío. Frío. Hot. Caliente. Caliente. Caliente and angry. Enfadado. Enfadado. Enfadado or enojado, which is pretty much the same thing. Okay. Now, does any one of you have any questions so far or it's been clear? Estamos claros hasta el momento? Yes. 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 Easy, easy, right? Cuando in English, guys, cuando queremos decir como pan comido, voy a introducir una idiom. 
se dice en English ECPs. Y ahí se los puse en el, en el chat so everyone can see it. En español decimos como pan comido, en inglés decimos easy peasy, que es como pan comido. Son frases idiomáticas del idioma, ¿ok? So, let's move on. Here we have a list, a big list of some, some adjectives. And uh, we're going to try to go each one of them. And what we're going to do is that we're just going to make the pronunciation, okay? The homework, la tarea para ustedes va a ser for tomorrow, buscar el significado de todas estas palabras and then para la práctica del día de mañana antes de iniciar, I will ask you. For example, de repente le voy a preguntar cómo decimos en inglés um, like, for example, calmado. How do we say that? See? So, I need that everyone, así que necesito que todos para el día de mañana traten de buscar the meaning, okay? So, for the moment, for the moment, we are only going to do the pronunciation, okay? So, we're going to go with the first part. We are all going to participate. Y todos van a participar. So we're, let's go with the appearance, apariencia, adjectives of appearance, adjetivos de apariencia, attractive, attractive. Si lo puede repetir usted ahí en casa with, without turning your microphone on, sin encender el micrófono, that will be perfect. So let's, let's start all over again. Attractive, bold, bold, beautiful. Chavi, chavi, clean, vaseline, vaseline, drab, drab, elegant, elegant, fancy, fancy, fit, fit, flabby, flabby. Glamorous, glamorous, gorgeous, gorgeous, handsome, handsome, magnificent, magnificent, muscular, muscular, plain, plain, plump, plump. Shapely, shapely, skinny, skinny, stocky, stocky, unkept, unkept, unslightly, unslightly. Now, let's try to make the pronunciation and uh, we're going to start with Julio. The first three, please. Los primeros tres. First three. Let's go with you, Julio. Attractive. Ball. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Jancy, Andrea. Another three. Otros tres. Chopping. Okay. Clean. Okay. That's me. Correct. Thank you very much. That was good pronunciation. Elena Cortez. Another three. Drab. Okay. Elegant. Okay. Fancy. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Felix. Fit. Okay. Drabby. Okay. Glamorous. 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 Thank you very much. Now, Patricia. Let's go with you, Patricia. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Handsome. Okay. Magnificent. Magnificent. Or 
It's e if it is easier for you, algunas personas también lo pronuncian como magnificent. Que es la pronunciación un poco más fácil. Magnificent. So, let's go with Francisco Martinez. Muscular. Okay. Plain. Plum. Okay. Thank you very much. Didana. Um, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa picha. ¿Alguien tiene una idea? Someone can help her. Alguien. Hoy sí se están peleando por participar. Just... Ay. How do we say that? It's trophy. It's it is trophy. It's trophy. Thank you very much. Now this one. Didana. This one. Yes. Yes. Happen. Mm. Shapely, shapely and skinny, skinny, okay? Now, Jessica, Hernandez, let's go with you with the last three. Con los últimos tres. Stucky. Mm -hmm. Um, Kemp. Okay. Um, sing, singly. That one was stated unsightly, unsightly. Okay. okay, now we're gonna move on with the next one and I need you to please pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Agreedable, agreedable, ambitious, brave, brave, calm, calm, delightful, Delightful, eager, eager, faithful. Recuérdense que TH se pronuncia Z. Faithful, gentle, happy, jolly, kind, lively, nice, obedient, polite, Proud, silly, thankful, victorious, witty, wonderful, zealous. Okay, now let's see. Can I have a volunteer? Anyone that would like to make the pronunciation of five of them? Volunteer. Agreeable. 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 Mm -hmm. Ambitious. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Calm. Um, mm -hmm. Delightful. Correct. Thank you, um, Julio. Someone else? Five. It's going to repeat five. Okay. Igor. Okay. Five four. Okay. Um. Oh, ya está me cuesta. Gently. Gent, <laughs> Lo siento. Gentle. Gently. No, we don't say we don't say tle. It's gentle. So a till. Gentle. Gentle. Okay. Gently. Mm -hmm. Happy. Um. Joy. 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 Okay. And now let's see someone else. Kind. Okay. What else? Lovely. Lively. Lively. Nice. Mm -hmm. Obedient. Obedient. Obedience. Mm -hmm. 
Mm? Or like. Okay, thank you. And now the last person. Una última persona. Proud. Proud, okay. Silly. Okay. Uh, thankful. Thankful, okay. Victorious. Okay. <laughs> Riley. Witty, we say this one, witty. Witty. Wonderful. Okay. We say Zilas. Zilas. Okay. Now, uh, as I told you guys, I will need all the uh, meanings for tomorrow. Okay. For the moment, we're just going to practice, practice, practice that pronunciation. Now, let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, Rebecca de Benavides. How do we pronounce this one right here? ¿Cómo pronunciamos esta de acá? Uh, shall be okay now Juan Peñate how do we pronounce this one agreeable 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 now Julio how do we pronounce this one eager eager, eager. Eager, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alex, how do we pronounce this one? Obedient. 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 Okay. Obedient. Divana, how do we pronounce this one? Glamorous. Glamorous, correct. Let me see. Uh, Beatrice, how do we pronounce? This one, Beatrice. Polite. Polite, excellent. Wilfredo, how do we pronounce this one? Wilfredo Agonel. Delightful. 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 Now, let's move on to the next part. And here we have, tenemos los adjetivos de personalidad negativa. Negative personality, negative personality adjective. Now, angry, be wilder at, be wilder at, be wilder at, clumsy, defeated, defeated, embarrassed, embarrassed, fierce. Fears, grumpy, grumpy, helpless, helpless, itchy, itchy, jealous, jealous, lazy, mysterious, mysterious, nervous, obnoxious. Obnoxious, panicky, panicky, pitiful, pitiful, repulsive, repulsive, scary, scary, thoughtless, thoughtless, uptight, and worried. Now, let me see, Patricia Campos. How do we pronounce the first three? Como pronunciamos las primeras tres? Angry. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, no, ese no, no me acuerdo. Be okay. wild the red. Be wild the red. Y This one? Clumsy. Clumsy, okay. Now, Oswaldo Stanley, what about the next three? Defeated. Defeated, okay. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. 
embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Fears. Fears. Okay. Let's see Jessica Hernandez. The next three. Grumpy. Okay. Help. Helpless. Okay. Itchy. Itchy. Jancy. Jancy Andrea. The next three. Ay. <laughs> um, ay, tío, a ver. Yours. Ay, no. <laughs> Jealous. Jealous. Yellow. Yellow. And this one is okay. bien importante. Porque significa celoso. Are you jealous? Celoso. Jealous. Jealous. Okay. Yeah, Next one. Lazy. 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 Um, mysterious. Mysterious. Okay. Let's see. Julio, let's go with you. Nervous. Remember, we don't pronounce the U. No, nervous. Like nervous. 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 Obnoxious. Obnoxious. Uh huh. Panic. Panicky. Panic. Panic. Okay, Felix. Beautiful. Beautiful. Repulsive. 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 Scare. Scary. Scary. Now let's go with, let me see. Um, who hasn't participated today? Oh, Juan. Juan Peñat, let's go with you. Thoughtless. Thought. Thoughtless. Thoughtless. Okay. Uptight. Uptight. Worried. Worried. Correct. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to move on to the last column, a la última columna, which are los adjetivos de tamaño, size. So we have big, colossal, fat, gigantic, gigantic, great. Huge, huge, immense, large, little, mammoth, mammoth, massive, microscopic, microscopic, miniature, miniature, petite. Petit, honey, scrawny, scrawny, short, small, tall, teeny, tiny. Now, let's see. Um, we're going to go, each one of you is going to say something different. Felix, numero uno, number one. Julio, number two. Juan Peñate, number three. Uh, Francisco Martinez, number four. Didana, number five. Jessica Hernandez, number six. Andrea, number seven. And let me see. Elena, number eight. With number nine. Beatriz, 10. Rebecca, 11. And then we have Oswaldo. Uh, 12, then we have, uh, see, Rebecca de Benavides, I don't know if I pronounce it, 13, and Patricia, 14. And Oswaldo, did I mention you already? Yo te había mencionado, Oswaldo? Yes. Okay, so now, let's go. Yeah, ma'am. All right, so let's go, number one. Okay. Also, no, just uh, it, it was just one. It was just one. just the first one. Okay, thank you. Now number two. Colossal. No, that was that's for Julio. 
Felix. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Julio? Olusan. Okay. Number three? Fat. Fat. Okay. Giant. Gigantic. 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 Okay. Number five? Great. 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 Six? Great. Huge. Huge. Thank you. Seven? Number seven? Number seven. Someone forgot the number. So number eight, Ben. Number eight. What happened? Someone forgot the number. Who's number nine then? Little. Okay. Number 10. Jesus Christ, you forgot your number so quick. Well, anyway, so, uh, well, once again, I will say it again. For tomorrow, the first thing that we're going to do is that I'm going to ask you how we say things or how do we say all this list of adjectives that we have. For example, de repente le puedo preguntar a alguien, ¿cómo se dice celoso? How do we say that? Okay. And that's jealous. Jealous. Okay. Okay. You know what? Now. So that's going to be the practice that we're going to do tomorrow. Okay. So I need you to be ready for tomorrow. So any one of you know what we're going to do. So we're going to move on, guys, to the next activity, which is going to be the practice. So you know what to do in this case, guys, please go ahead and take the screenshots with your phones, or if you're using your computer, go ahead and do the same thing, okay? If you have any question while doing the practice, please ask for help. Si durante la práctica tienen preguntas, ask for help, okay? So, are you ready to move to number two? Yes. Okay, here we have number two. And this is number three. What are we going to do in this one? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer en esta? Solo identificar cuál es el adjetivo. Don't only identify the correct adjective. Identificar el adjetivo and the sentence. That's it. So now let's please go ahead and let me just create the groups. And let me see. In this case, um, we're going to move this person here this person here and we're going to move Juan Peñate, Wilfredo, okay. Now please go ahead and join your rooms, please.
Esta es una buena, quizás. Hola. Una buena calculadora. ¿Cómo, cómo? Good, creo que sería necesito, ahí. Necesito una, ajá, una buena. Uh, ajá. Good. Ajá, y moreta. ¿Qué hace una moreta? Una buena calculadora. Vaya, por ejemplo, pongámosle good, good en la, este. A good calculator. I cannot. Esta sería la primera. Última. Esta sería la primera. Ahí entró el teacher. <ríe> Pero esta sería la primera. ¿Cuál? Yo veo la última. Eh, los dos están compartiendo, por eso no aparece. <risa> ah, permítame. No, yo, vale, yo quitaría. Oba, hoy ah. sí. No, esa es la última. Ah, no es la primera. No es la primera, va. No es la eh. última, es esa. A ver. La primera. Ok. Apá, ¿qué fue? Ok. Is so slow. He slows lower. He comes. Quiero ver, he's so slow. He comes. Una larga carrera, In... slow. O dura carrera. Every race. Hard. Uh, no. Quiero ver. Mm. Vamos a pasar. Hard, eh. sí. ¿Cuál? La última. Hard. This is hard. Oh. So sí. slow. Ay, no, no, no. Ese sí, no sé. Mm. Llevamos la otra. Ya llevamos dos. La mm. otra es you, you are only 15. That's not. Tiene solo 15. All. Ajá, 15 años. Es. Tú tienes solo 15 años. No. Sí, sí. Tú tienes solo 15 años. No eres tan viejo para manejar. ¿Va? Uh, old. Sí. Sería old. 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 Mm -hmm. old. old. Sí, old, viejo. Ok. No sé cómo se pronuncia, pero... Yo creo que así es, Fat. Que go de gordo. Incluso...
<clears throat> Did you finish the exercises, guys? No, teacher. You didn't. Okay. No problem. We're just gonna wait for you, the others, to come back to the main session so we can just have a small practice right now. So just let me go ahead and share this part right here so we can, okay, here we go. Now let's see, um, let me see, okay, nine seconds. For example, in this part, um, Felix, in number one, which one do you think it is the adjective? Which one is the adjective? Donde, cuál es el adjetivo number one? Beautiful. Beautiful, correct, that's beautiful. What about number two? Big. Big, Big. Big. correct, that's the adjective. In number three? Like. Like, like, like. Yeah. well, déjenme decirles que en este caso el adjetivo es German. German, German porque German. like es un verbo, y aunque German es este adjetivo, es adjetivo de nacionalidad, es decir, yo digo el carro alemán, es decir, de alemán, mm. German cars. Now, Number four, what is the adjective there? Expensive. Expensive, caro, expensive clothes. What about number five? Black. 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 Correct. Black. Black is the adjective. Si en algunas veces los colores se pueden comportar como adjectives. Correct. Number six, what is the adjective? Funny. 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 Correct. Divertido. Funny. Funny guy. Es un chico divertido. Number seven. John. 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 Correct. John. Number eight. Long. Long. Number nine. Interesting. Interesting. And number ten. Silly. 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 Una película loca. Silly. Silly movie. Okay. Now, uh, well, guys, before we go, just let me tell you that for this week, you are supposed to complete exercise from section number four in the platform, okay? So if you already completed it, that's fine, that's, that's okay. But if you haven't, please, you can start working today and you have until Friday to complete section number four. Okay. Remember, cada Friday tenemos um, calibration, ¿sí? So all your scores, todo lo que usted trabaja en esa semana se envía a empresas. So you don't have any, any problem. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for coming to the class. So see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night. 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 Good night.